Hey, what is up, guys? We're getting into here. Back with another video. Welcome to Wicked Sex Figure Reviews. And today, I am back with Figure of the Week. This one's 110th episode already. Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Ultimate Edition. Series number 10, The Rock Figure. Now, if you guys haven't checked out any of my Figure of the Weeks, go ahead and check them out. There's a link down below to a playlist or a card up in the right-hand corner for you guys to check out. Um, yeah, this figure is a pretty cool figure, actually, that came out. Not my favorite, uh, the Rock figure, you know, but, um, at that time it was really easy to get. I did get a couple of these, and I think I sold, like, one or two already, um, since they came out. Um, uh, but now they became pretty pricey, guys. Uh, this figure is going for, like, 50 plus on eBay. You could probably get it for a little bit cheaper or on whatnot or just... But I just usually check eBay prices uh, for these type of things. But yeah, it's like a $50 figure. Some of them were selling for like $80. But uh, you can get a loose for like $30. So it's just like basically the price of a of a main box ultimate. What they usually cost. But you get a lot of good stuff with this figure too. You get three pairs of interchangeable heads. You get the mic. You get the, um, the tank top. It says a soldier on it. You get the WWE uh, with the Scratch logo on it. Pretty cool. Uh, and you get three, four, actually, interchangeable heads, hands. You get the mic holding hands, which is the one that he has on. Uh, Closed-fisted hands. The, like, just bring it hands and then the open palm hands as well. It's a very nice rock figure. There's the side right there of the rock. Rock right there. There's the back of this figure right here. There's him doing that pose. Uh, I think this is the one where he was feuding either with Miss or with Cena. Uh, like kind of one big when he came back um, before this last time. Um, there's some stats right there and some info. This is Ultimate Edition number 10. Uh, these were everywhere. I remember seeing a bunch of these Targets and Walmarts. Actually, not in Target. I think Walmart had them. I don't know at that time. Uh, Target stopped carrying Ultimates at some point. And then they brought them back. But I remember picking this guy up at Walmart. There was a lot of them for sure. That's why I was able to get like two Cenas. And I think uh, a lot of people stocked up on these pretty heavy. And now if you have it, you sell selling for like 50 plus. So easily sell it on eBay. Easily sell it on Instagram or Facebook. Whatever. For some pretty good, um, you know, um, pretty good money. And you can make it there. But I do have the the version loose because I did, like I mentioned, pick up a few of them. Uh, especially because my collection is always with the mock and loose version. So here's the loose version. I put this hat on it because it's the better one that he has on this specific figure. You know, the shoulder uh, soldier um, t tank here. Nothing on the back is Velcro. Uh, the tattoo work on this figure, though, is phenomenal for sure. If you guys didn't check on my review, I think I do have one. Um, I'll leave the link or a card up in the right-hand corner. And then you have the Scratch WWE logo. Uh, WWE Championship with the champion lettering on the front. The Brahma Bull um, side plates here. One of my side plates is coming off, so I have to fix that. Uh, but, yeah, it does come with the mic, too, with the Scratch logo. Um... I don't know if you can tell, but on this Scratch logo, the paint looks like really bad. The paint app on the on that is like really bad. It looks like they taped over the WWE logo and they painted the black and then they took off the paint and they just left it. They didn't touch it up or anything. It's just like you can see where kind of like the outlines are where the tape used to be, if that's what they did. Um... Yeah, pretty simple. A rock figure here, all black. Uh, it says the rock on the trunks here on the front, which you can't see that well. And then the Brummel Bowl on the back and silver. So, pretty plain Jane, but that's how the rock is. Um, and then we did get a rock in the Target exclusive line. We also have a ultimate in the uh, oh, Amazon exclusive, which we did get that re-released. Um, and I'm hoping to pick that figure up soon as well. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think of this figure of the week, a 110 here. Uh, make sure to stay tuned for more. There's a lot more reviews coming. Um, a lot of Ultimates at as well that I do have on the works. Um, the Ultimate 
Roman and the Ultimate Oscar are coming soon too. I think this week they should be dropping. Um, and I do have a bunch of other Ultimates coming as well. And some other Elites. I have a set of Elites that I need to uh, unbox. I have this WCWs to do. I have a bunch of Amazon ones that I picked up as well. So stay tuned for that guys. There's a lot more coming for sure. Um, I'm excited to see what the end of the year is going to look like in my collection. Slowly but surely getting there. Um, and then we'll do the room tour so you guys can see my collection has grown uh over the over the last uh, couple months now because we're already in july going towards august and uh yeah significant difference since the last room tour that i that i did so i think i even put up an extra shelf now so yeah make sure to see that video too i think i did a room tour um in december of last year so check it out guys make sure to go um and share my videos guys we're on the road to 800 where we'll do a giveaway for sure so make sure to go and share my videos. Make sure to go follow my Instagram and my TikTok at WAFR95. And uh, Facebook is also coming soon too. So we can join some groups there and talk figs. Follow me there as well. Once I have it, I will post it up so you guys can follow me there. Make sure to go like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.